have seen France, and we have seen now a, um, each problem, each looted painting had to be solved almost individually by attacking in court, by going to court. And uh, when at the end of the war, uh, when the when yeah when the war was over, uh, Mr. Burle uh, has been mentioned yesterday here. Mr. Burle he owned about 15 looted paintings from France. If we can go back again to the room, so you will see, and I will tell you the story. Yes. Uh, the painting that you just saw uh, is at the Centre Pompidou in Paris. The owners have started claiming it, but unfortunately, none of these paintings have ever been given back, have ever been restituted. This is for the French administration. Uh, concerning the... Uh, uh, U.S. auctioneers and U.S. art dealers and U.S. collectors, it is also true that they have never, ever worried about looking for the provenance, looking for the history of these paintings. Sometimes the history of these paintings, the provenance of these paintings can be found in two hours, in one afternoon. I have done it. Uh, we can see the next uh, painting. They do admit that they do not want to give them back even though officially they say that they are going to do it. But the only way to do, the, to do this, as I said, and to solve this problem, is uh, to do ownership research. What I have found in the history of these paintings is that, uh, let's say, a very important part, aspect of the history has been avoided. It's like a Bermuda Triangle that sort of disappears.